Hello everybody, this is MF and welcome back to more Night in the Woods. Last time we went to the graveyard and did uh, grave robbing. That's pretty much what we did. Um, dug up uh, Joey, whatever his face was, uh, his grave and... Anyway, we're, uh, we're in a dream sequence here again. We're always in a dream sequence at the end of the day. Oh, okie doke, here we are. Um... Is it gonna be the same old thing, or we find we're gonna have to find the uh, musicians? A good question. Let me go up here. Or are we in a like it? This looks like the topography topography of the graveyard a little bit. It could be something else, but who knows? We're kind of just going left at this point. something uh, going on over here like this looks like it could be a desert you know oh what's this hello can you talk yes for some reason you're the first thing here I thought to talk to Are you God? No. Oh. So, circus ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God, and I am asking what God is, and they are telling me, and I am not this God, and this God is nowhere. Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are ex explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now, and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town. It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands. And they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear. And now they are gone. And now you are here. What? A tear? With their hooves. They are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air. And they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. And they are asking me about God. My head hurts. I am going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea. And beyond are things blind and terrible. And I am showing you now. Ooh, well. <sighs> ah! Oh god, oh god. They are blind, but you are seeing. But they are seeing you. And you are coming to them. After you are not returning here, I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? I am tired of speaking with little creatures. I am tired of speaking of God. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything. And it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming. And you are not escaping. And the universe is forgetting you. And the universe is being forgotten. And there is nothing to remember it. Not even the things beyond. And now there is only the hole. So does anything does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? What about this? Soon they are dying. Soon they are rotting. You are atoms. <laughs> atoms. You're atoms. And your atoms are caring if you are existing. Are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. Then why am I here, goddammit? 
Why was I chosen to see all this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I'm caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget. Before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature. What a weird dream. Alright, well... That was something, I guess. And here we are. Oh, we got the uh, the things. Uh, some of the things. We got the helmet. We got the little thing over there on the on the amplifier over here. Ghosts. Okay, so uh, let's. Oh, we got all the things. We got the snowshoe as well up there. Uh, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. My granddad's clock. Or grandpa clock. Guess what it's called. We need more of those. Yeah, we need more of those indeed. Hello, bird. Bird? I kind of get you now. All like trapped and shit? I should let you out. Nah. Okay, let's go downstairs unless there's something else to look at. Alright, so let's go talk to mom. I'm sure she's in the kitchen. Hello. Honey, you okay? Ugh, mornings are tough right now. Are you pregnant? Where did that come from? No! Oh, honey, is that why you came home? No, not at all. Sweetie, you can tell me. I've been there. And despite nature's intentions, God came through and blessed us with you. You were a miracle baby. That's me, a miracle. After all the miscarriages, We'd given up hope. And then there were you. And here I am now. So if you're pregnant... I'm not pregnant. I was not in a situation where pregnancy happens. Okay, okay. I just want to know you to know that you can always come to us with this. Okay, noted. Can we talk about something else? Sure. You know, if you did have a baby... Okay, I'm out. <laughs> okay, sweetie. I'm sorry, I get excited about grandbabies. It's fine. I'll be back later. Love you. Love you too. If it was a boy, you could, uh, could name him Calvin. How about not? Oh god, mom. If it was a girl, you could call name her, what, Hobbs? Are you gonna say Hobbs? I think that's a good girl's name, though. Trash baby? That's a good baby name. Cordelia! Why don't I just have the baby and hand it to you? Oh! Okay, bye, I'm leaving. Okay, we're leaving. Are we gonna look at more stars today? Uh, I do wonder. Um, so let's just go left. We can talk to Selmers as well. We can talk to Greg about going to some graveyard stuff, not graveyard stuff, but ghost hunting. Hello, Selmers. Hey, May. You alright? Yeah, I guess. Why? You look like you went through the dryer on the wrong setting. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Long week is all. You want to hear a poem? Share you up? Yes. Life goes on. It feels so long. But I report, life is too short. Haha. <laughs> Here's another happy one. Life is great, but life is hard. Let's grill hot dogs in the backyard. Thank you, Selmers. Hey, that cherry up? They did. Yay. Thanks for that. Talk more. Chasako was up there again. You ever, like, drop the telescope? Oh, no, he'd cry his eyes out. He loves that thing more than his kid. He has a kid? Yeah, name's Colin. Visit every once in a while. He is hot as hell. You talk to him? Nah, he works at some university uh, university research place. He's not interested in this. Selmers. Eh. 
They do karaoke as Miller's, uh, but only like twice a week. Should should be every night. Hmm. Karaoke. Never ever done that before. Bad weather coming soon. I feel it in my bones. That's probably right. The Shasako is up there, so we do. We are gonna do star stuff. Um. All right. Okay, that was bad. Okay. I'm not sure if I can make it up there. Like, I uh, probably can. Hold on. Um, uh, probably not. I have to go on the roof. Okay. Um. On the the chimney. Sure, that'll work. Here we go. Hey, man. Hey, Mr. Shazakov. You look at you look at bit worse for wear today. At bit. I think that's a bit. Oh, I'm fine. I made it up here, didn't I? Watch yourself, lest you fall. We'll do. Here to see some stars. Sure. Come have a look. All right, so what do we have? Well, she doesn't say anything this time when blinded by the light. Reminds me of a song. All right, here we go. Gotcha! Ooh, which one is it? It's this. Adina Astra. You know this one? Yes, I know this one. It's a common story. How Adina journeyed to the frozen lake how she traveled, uh, traversed a known faraway lands, or far away. I just always think of Faraday, you know, from um, Lost. Anyway, I was very into Adina stories when I was a kid. So you must know what became of her. Yeah, how she, in her quest, turned her back on the sky and journeyed down into the earth, where she, uh, her stars were no longer over her head. And how she was never seen again? Yeah. Whatever. Is that not a sad ending? Yeah, I mean, she probably died. Disappearing is the same as dying. It's not the same as dying. She probably went somewhere else completely. And did all kinds of cool shit. Oh my. Yeah, so, whatever. That was short. Uh, see if we can find something else. Nothing down there. Uh, was it this one? I think I got one? Let us see. Cole the Mountaineer. Cole. New guy named Cole once. Is that close? So it's not the same name. Cole, I guess. It is. So what's up with the, this guy? Cole was from, an, uh, from a flatland. The Midwest? Whatever the Midwest or whatever he was uh, from was. Every place has a Midwest. This is true. He dreamed of mountains, and devoted his life to climbing them. Because his hometown was flat? Isn't this a common instinct? To seek that which is unlike where one grows up? Sure, I guess. I mean, people go to the city a lot. Like they move there because it's got stuff. And there's more people like them, maybe. Sucks though. Because not everyone can just up and leave. When I left my country, I felt the same thing, but I have not regretted it. You like Possum Springs? It is beautiful in ways perhaps invisible to those who have seen it every day in their lives. So what happened to Carl? He returned home and complained that the sky felt heavy. He had, up, he had been up into the clouds and now they rested hard upon him. That's a really specific complaint. When one leaves a place, one brings something back when he, one returns. One. One. Oof, that's all for today. That was nice. Alright, it was short, but... I mean, short, I don't know how short it was. It was pretty short for that, anyway. Pretty sweet, the stars, I mean. I am in agreement. Awesome. Call on Adina. Alright, uh, let's see what else we can do. 
I wonder if the... Um, I wonder if the rats still need food. I guess we can feed the rats. We'll see if we need to feed the rats. I got that achievement last time for feeding the rats, so... Or, last time I fed them, anyway. Oh no! Okay, we're done. We can't take more pretzels. Alright, let's see what, um... Is up with, um... Greg? I mean, we could go... Yeah, we'll do Greg first, I think. Then we'll do Angus next, uh, after. Although, I think Angus is closer. Because Angus would be right here. No, I'm still gonna go to the snack bar, I think. Snack Falcon, not snack bar. Oh yeah, that's the apartments. Anyway. Here we go. 16 minutes. Well, might be a longer episode, but that's fine. It's Friday today, so... Sup, Duder? Hey. Are oh, you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? I met God. I saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. Like things beyond bugs. In some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. Oh, awesome. She's been... She's the best. She's... She really is. She takes no crap. I'm assuming that's like Judge Judy? Oh, you in line. So what's up? Just checking in. You wanna hang out? Got some date night uh, stuff with Angus. It's cool. I might hit up B. Hit her with... Hit her the F up. Really? We can't go with the thing? Okay, so we can't do the thing then, huh? So, he's gonna have a date with Angus. That's fine, I suppose. So I says to her, Mabel, get off the dang table! <laughs> and she goes, why don't you just climb up here with me? No way! It's true, we both danced on that table, nearly broke the damn thing. Somehow I can't see it. Well, you had to be there. I really didn't. <laughs> Interesting conversation. What else is going on? So I guess we can't go on more ghost hunts today. So that's weird. But um, I suppose I'm... I was gonna say it makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense. I don't really know the game that well. But um, I'll go check out here. Because we did the graveyard with B. What's up? Hey! Hey, Angel! This is my friend May. Hey May, what's up? Cool name. Gracias, much obliged. Angel's in just in town between trains. Going west? Next? Yeah, then south for the winter. Like a dirty body. A dirty birdie. Down the gulf. Lay in the sun. Eat me some crawfish. Actually, Angel, you might be able to answer a question. Shoot, bro. Is there anything about a ghost in town? Is there anything named Casey out on the rails? That's a good question. Hmm, let me think. You know what? He look like... Now he or she look like... He, he look kind of like me. A little taller. Orangish hair. Orangish. Nah, man. I don't really look, recollect. But I've seen like a thousand dudes out there. It's okay. I'll tell you what, I'll ask around, and if I find him, or someone who's been seen him, I'll say that May from Parcel Springs is looking for him. Thanks, that means a lot. I owe you. Nah, nah. It's a cold world. Run by the worst people. And good men die for God knows what reason. We gotta take on, like, do this for one another, you know? Yeah. Thanks again. What's driving like? It's good, it's good. Never cold, could stay in one spot. I have like the exact opposite problem. Alright, partners, time for me to show off. See ya, Angel. Stay safe. Adios. Oh, he leaves. Well, that's over. No fun? No fun. Something's bad. Something bad's coming. I know. 
It's a ghost germ. A real life ghost. There aren't ghosts. Ghosts aren't a thing. How do you know? My brother would have visited. I mean, that's... Jeez. Well, dinner time. See ya. Bye. What is out this way? I'm guessing nothing. Just gonna take a look anyway, but yeah, there's... How do you get over this thing? Can't jump that. No way it could have. There's no hole. How do you do it? Who knows? I mean, he. I guess it could have really been a ghost. I think it's a ghost. Ugh. What's out there? That's a good question. But you would know that better than me, May. You live here. And have lived your here your entire life, except for that one period in college. Anyway, uh, was there anything else? Um, I'm trying to think. I did have something on my mind, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, the church. I think I'll go to the church. It's gonna be one of those days where we just do nothing, just checking up on people, I guess. That's fine. I suppose we could hang out with B. Cause I don't know what else I could do for. Um, progressing the day. Anyway. We'll see what's up here. people here another meeting because there will be children here and this is a historic church that's half empty that's your job to fix not your ours the population drain is in this region <laughs> you have to know this place will never be full again we have the space and we have people who need space we have resources and we have poverty and not in some far off place or some big city right here right across the street Katie, it's our job one it's our number one job right now to bring business into town. Businesses mean jobs and jobs mean people. We have to do what we can to get the attention of the market. And having a half that church stacked full of bums. Thanks for your time. We'll see you for the vote tomorrow night. Thank you, Kate. You have a good heart, Kate. Thank you all for coming. Well, that didn't sound very productive, but maybe it was. Ah, stressful day. Sometimes you need, gra uh, need grace more than others. Was this all about Bruce? Was this all about Bruce? It was. It is. Whatever. It's out of our hands now. But there are better hands than mine. Hmm. Anyway, how are you, May? Eh. Eh. Sounds serious. I guess. So, like, things have been rough lately. I can see that. What seems to be the trouble? I think I met God. What? It was a dream. I don't think it was a dream. Well, let's say it was a dream then. Um, but God talks to us that's w that way, right? Sure. Can you tell me about it? I was in this desert, as far as I could see, where, like, all that was left of the world was bits of wood and sand. I was wandering through it, but I was like drawn to something. And I came over this, what do you call them? Hill made of sand? It's a sand dune, isn't it? A dune, yeah. Yeah, a dune. And there was God, just sitting there, up on another hill. A dune, whatever. Just hanging out? Yeah. It seemed like they were really into just hanging out. Did they say anything? Yeah. They like didn't care. What kind of a jerk? They didn't care. <laughs> they didn't care if you were there? No, I mean they didn't care. In general. They were they went on and on about how annoyed they were. That people kept coming to them with questions. And annoyed them annoyed that anyone thought they were God to begin with. 
Well, I don't think that was God then. Why? If something tells you it isn't God, you should probably believe it. No, what I mean is that the thing we call God isn't God. It's just a thing, and it doesn't care. Hmm. They kept talking about this giant hole, sure. In the center of everything, growing. That sounds very lonely. Have you been feeling lonely lately? Hmm. Yes. I had this problem when I was in high school, and I did something really bad. You probably heard about it. Your mom has mentioned it. Yeah, I figured. Well, since then, there's this deep down loneliness. Been there for years, since, well, just been a long time. I've been there. I mean, I'm there all the time. I think that's where, if we open ourselves up, God can enter our lives most effectively. I guess. I guess. Sometimes that's the best you got. Yeah. I feel like that's maybe not a good answer, uh, enough answer for you. Is that a good enough answer for any for anyone? Faith is a process. You have to keep getting up and choosing to go on. Do you really think there's a god? Like literally someone up there listening? Is that something you completely believe? Hmm. I don't know. Oh. On the best days I think I do. But there are times where I don't. But but you stand up there every day every Sunday and tell people you do. And even you're not sure. It's your job to believe. Well, I think it's more my job to serve others. But you're lying to people. How? You stand up there and tell people to believe in something you don't 100% believe in yourself. Maybe you're right, May. And maybe I should get up there every week and give some sort of tally on how much I believe that week. But who would that help? But you're a pastor. And you can't tell me whether or not God is up there. Whether anyone is watching. Anyone who gives a shit. No, but... Then what is the point of you? Oh, goodness. This took a turn. I have to go. Okay. That was... May has problems. That's all I can say. And that's okay. We, we all have problems. Every once in a while. That we have to work through. Hey, hon. Are you still having headaches? Yeah, but being out and about helps. Fresh air. Thanks for visiting me here, hon. It brightens my day. Feels weird being here today. Like, there's so much empty space. Come on Sunday, it's full then. I bet it is. Sorry I have to work because we, ha we have money problems. May I always had a job. This is just another one. Gotta get back to work, sweetie. See ya, mommers. See ya, daughters. Okay, so we're gonna go say hi to Bruce. And then we're gonna end off, I think. Let's see what we could do next time. If anything. I'm sure we could do something. I think that's the same. Here's Bruce. What's up, man? Hey, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you tell Pastor Kate something for me? Sure. But don't tell her this is till tomorrow. Can you do that? Sure. Tell her I said thank you. And I'm sorry I caused her trouble. But I'm not worth throwing away her job. She's the pastor, after all. Folks need her. Why am I telling her this? Because I won't be here to do it. Gonna hop on a train tonight. Headed east. Where will you go? I'm going home. Wow, really? Never gonna touch a bottle again. Never gonna lift a hand to, uh, to no man again. Sit on my daughter's front porch. Watch my grandbabies play in the yard. They'll all be there. Gonna get off that train. My kids are gonna be there. They'll have a sign they made. Nothing fancy. Poster board and markers. Welcome home, Dad. And I'll be home. That sounds great, Bruce. Yep, yep. Take care of yourself. You too, May. I'll be fine, you know. I'm an old hand in this, at this. Maybe older than I should have ever got to. But I'll be fine. See you around, Bruce. 
Goodbye, May. Bye bye. All right, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess uh, he's just leaving then, huh? We didn't really get to know him that well, but that's life. Some people just come and go. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today. I'm going to uh, transition the screen, uh, go down past the church, and uh, transition, and then all we're gonna I'm gonna end. Uh, so tomorrow. Uh, we'll talk to B. We'll see what happens there. And then, uh, I don't know what goes on after that, but, uh, that's gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time for more Night in the Woods. See you then. Bye-bye.